revitalization of EDDC's Culinary Art District continues on North Park Row in downtown Erie. Local restaurant owners tonight sharing their thoughts on the future of the new flagship city food hall and what it could mean for them. Star Bodie joining us in the control room with much more on this. Star. Sean, restaurant owners downtown tell me creating a food hall could create an economical boost for the city. The search is on for nine vendors with local roots to be a part of Erie's flagship city food hall in the Culinary Arts District. Construction of the Culinary Arts District is already underway on North Park Row. Restaurant owners in the city stress the importance of supporting local businesses. You know, really as we continue to grow more, just getting more businesses into the downtown, uh, more offerings for folks, and really drawing people in is going to be a benefit to everyone. EDDC officials say they are looking to welcome hometown restaurant owners cooks and vendors instead of national brands. This could help complement the city's current restaurant scene. You know, from day one, that's what they said they were going to do. It's going to give people an opportunity to get into this business that, you know, might not otherwise have had that opportunity. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. And, you know, I'm interested myself to see how it all uh, shakes out. Rent for these potential vendors will be based upon the number of sales. Restaurant owners say that the EDDC's terms of payment is a fair cost for vendor stalls. EDDC will collect 18 to 23 percent of sales based upon the size of a vendor stall. Andy Steinmetz, owner of Andorra's Bubble Tea, says this could be a helpful option to future vendors. It means less capital up front and it's easier to take that risk because you're saying, oh, I'll give you part of what I make, um, which allows me to say, well, if I don't make a lot, then my rent will be lower, but if I do make a lot, my rent will be higher. Now, the EDDC looks to have the food hall open in early 2021, and if you're looking to become a potential vendor, those applications will close on March 2nd. Sean? Yeah,